This episode of Film Riots brought to you by the new Ford Fiesta. It's a pretty big deal. And the national fight against drunk driving over the limit under arrest. Who wants to spend Labor Day in jail? Answer, nobody. Except idiots who drink and drive. Today on Film Riot, compositing plus visitation rights from Brian Brushwood. In the beginning, Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film is made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Riot is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. We're going to be following trying films from pre to post production as we make our latest short film tell. Along the way, we're going to be showing you how to accomplish great effects with little to no budget. And every now and again, we'll be jumping over to Full Sail University to get you advice from the pros. So grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This is Film Riot. Deja vu, right? What's that? This is like the Squarespace ad. Hmm? From the first episode. I have no idea what you're talking about. Not a clue. It starts off and Ryan's all, I need some ideas. Not ringing any bells. No, and then Josh like has this puppy out of nowhere and is all like, I'll kill this effing puppy. I would never do that. Why would you say that? See, now that's defamation of character right there. I love animals. He does. And you're out of line. Well, no, I'm, j I'm not saying you wouldn't, that's how it went in the sketch. Let's just get back to business. That'd be best. So you want us to make you an intro? Yeah, I thought it'd be good for both of us. For the you... little show you're doing. Uh, actually, it's not so little. This is for freaking Halloween Horror Nights. It's probably like a little kid's Halloween party. Oh. No, no, it's not actually. It's one of the biggest events Universal puts on every year. Doubt it. Joshua, now I'm sure it's a big deal for Brian. But for us, not so much. No, of course not. I'm right here. So you want to do an intro. Yes, and I figured. And you wanted it done by the best. <laughs> yeah, but they weren't available, so I came to you guys, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, obviously. Oh, I get it. Look, guys, I want to tap into your creative juices and come up with something insane and fun with all the same kind of twists and intrigue that are actually in my stage show. Insane. Fun. Twists and intrigue. I'm seeing something already. What do you see? Picture this. We start in on a black screen, and all of a sudden, a title fades in. From the mind of M. Night Shyamalan. Whoa, let me stop you right there. Problem? Uh, number one, it's from my mind, and number two, I don't think I want to be associated with that name. Oh, I get you. It's Airbender. Airbender's the problem. Thought. You have one. I'll say. Juice me. You breathe fire, yes? Yeah, that would be great to put in there. Think bigger. Let's hit him with a twist. Start with you eating from a can of beans. I don't like where this is headed. Next thing we know, bam! You fart fire from your anus. Crowd is hit with shock and awe. Huge applause. All the women in the audience throw themselves at you. You're a god. Absolutely. Fantastic. No, that's horrible. Wow, you're horrible. I do not toot fire. Toot. Dude just said toot. Toot. Toot, toot, toot. I just tooted. I can smell your toot from here. You can smell my nasty toot. Yucky toot, toot. Who says toot? I just think fart is a rude sounding word. Well, you just said it, so I guess you're rude. I've got another brain breaking slam of Giamma. Yeah? Hit us with it. What's Brian's greatest asset? His body. Besides that. My magic. Oh, Brian. No. His hair. Yes, we capitalize on that. Oh. Okay. So it starts with this kid. He's sitting there all innocent and whatnot, when out of nowhere. Oh God! You come and impale his helpless body with your life-stealing hair jablets. Shocking, violent, over the top. I love. I uh. Hate it. No. He loves it. No, it's just I don't. I don't want people to be afraid of my hair. What's with this guy? Look, can we come up with something that maybe focuses on the bizarre magic aspect of the show? Uh... uh no, no. I think I have something. Good. Because I'm tapped like a keg. Now picture this. You're in a room. Alone. And lonely. You want a friend. Well, guess what? You're Brian freaking Brushwood. So you will pal yourself a clone from thin air. Clones are cool. Extreme. Not all that bizarre. Relax, Spikes, we're getting there. So the two of yous are standing there when all of a sudden, you decide to make out with you. What? Bizarre. 
That's why he's the boss. This is not at all what I asked for. Bizarre! I'm not kissing a guy! It's not a guy, it's you. It's not gay if you're kissing yourself, bro. Dude, I have a wife! I'm a dude! It's like kissing a mirror, only the mirror has lips. Dude, in no way will I tie tongues with myself on stage. Okay, Bri Bri. Okay, Bri Bri Bear. Stop it! Fine. I'm at a loss here. We've given you three ideas, all of them gold. Nope. Platinum. Yes. Platinum. And you shot down every single one. I'm not really sure what to tell you at this point except maybe forget everything and just prance out on stage. That's genius. Come again? Strip away everything. Don't make it about flashy intros. Let the show speak for itself. Just come out and connect with the audience. Ha! This is exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, you guys, this is the best! Well, I guess we did it again. That's why we're the best. High five. Transition. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques of going on some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. Now, as you can see, Mr. Brushwood came to visit, and it was all to answer this young feller's email here. Dear Film Riot, now on occasion, if you watch the show, you know that every now and again, I like to interpret an email to show you how I read it in my mind. For instance, dear Film Riot, I've been a long time watcher of the show and have never sent in a request. I'm really hoping this gets used. I just saw Speed Race on DVD and not long after, I went to see Scott Pilgrim. So my question is, could you do something that has a similar sort of Speed Racer, Scott Pilgrim anime sort of style? And maybe talk a bit about compositing. I've heard the word, but I'm not fully sure of what it is. Thanks. Well, Brian was in town and we figured, hey, let's do something for Jared. So here you go. Now the actual definition of compositing is the combination of different visual elements into a single image. Green screening, masking, transparencies, these are all forms of compositing. Oh, sorry, I was looking directly into the lens. So the first thing you need when compositing are your assets. For this, we had a mixture of assets we created, like Brian on a green screen and then Bruno on a separate green screen for me to composite together later. And, and for getting my Now for the background, I knew I wanted like a speed racer type style with just the lights of the buildings whizzing by. So I went to one of my favorite sites, which is cgtextures.com. Now this site is intended for 2D and 3D graphics work, so it's mostly just close up texture pictures, but they have a lot of good and royalty free images there to use as well. Who's your fuzzy? Anywho, I found these two images of a city there and brought them into After Effects. Once there, I created a new comp and made that comp very long. Then I brought in the two pictures and stitched them together. Then I color corrected the one image to match the other as closely as possible, then kept duplicating my image to fill out the entire area of the comp. Yeah. Yeah. Now bring in the footage you took of your actors on the green screen. I grabbed the clip of Brian running and dropped it into a new composition and then did my keying, which I'm not going to get into because we already discussed in an older episode. Right there. I'm looking at it. I'm eating it. Go watch it before I eat it all. You're going to be too lazy to yeah. make the eating hey, thing. You're just going to look like an idiot. At least put the URL there. I may not even do that. That's up to me. There it is! Now once you've keyed out the green, grab the composition of your city and drag it into your new composition and put it right below the actor layer. Now as you can see, the layer of the city is much longer than your actor's layer, which will allow you to move it around to make it look like your actor is actually moving. So now I'm going to keyframe position points to make the background move very fast from left to right. But as you can see, even though that composition is much longer, it's still not long enough to last the length that we need it to. Now I could go back to the city comp and continue to make it long until it's the length that we need it, but that's gonna get very large and start to bog down our project. I love you though. Memories. So instead I'll go to the keyframe where my city ends its move, go one frame forward and start the move from the very beginning. Then I'll do that through the rest of the comp until I have this. So now you're thinking this looks like crap and I agree, but do you know why? This is a baby. The baby lives in a crib because he can't take very good care of himself. The baby wears diapers because, well, we know all about that. The baby is kind of scared, so he sucks on this thing to take his mind off his troubles. Drugs are like that. Uh, no, it's because we didn't have motion blur on. So turn that on and you'll see a big difference. Wh what? Where do you even find this crap? 
Everybody thinks I do this. When you're the f Oh, I'm just a southern lawyer. So now you have your footage keyed and your background moving, which means it's time to add a little bit of style. Like I do every moment. <laughs> For the background, I just tweaked the colors a bit to make them pop more and lean towards a red and pink color. Then I added a glow, boosted the glow radius to 27 and the glow intensity to 1.6. And now we have the background looking all speed racer-ish. Now it's time to add some style to our actor. So first I duplicated my actor's layer and then hid the top layer. We'll get to that little devil in a minute. Drugs are like that. For the actor running, I wanted to make him black and white with just a bunch of color surrounding him. So I added a hue and saturation effect and then dropped the saturation. So now turn the top layer back on and add curves, then hue and saturation to it to make the color extreme like this. The main thing I did to get that look is in color balance HLS, where I set hue to plus 95, lightness to 42, and saturation to 100. Now add directional blur and set the direction to plus 90 and the blur length to 259. <laughs> then drop the layer before the black and white actor layer and move it back until it looks like light trails coming off your actor. And now you have an anime style super sprint. Yeah man, I just left the dealership. I haven't had the car 10 minutes, I'm already in love with it. Hey, I'm gonna call you back. Hey, dude, you need a ride? So, where are you headed? Okay, I'm going this way. All right. This is a nice car. Oh, thanks. I just got it. I don't know much about it, but. You're so pimping. You're so sexy. You're so pimping. It's the car. Wanna connect your phone wirelessly to play MP3s? You can even stream podcasts using the voice activated sync. Or maybe just take this USB and plug it in. You can play the hot tunes loaded and let the party begin. One more gas smiles when you are driving around. Fiesta gives you 40. How's that sound? Wow, that is a lot. More than a hybrid, I think. Is that highway miles or city miles? Here's the thing about your car. It's so safe, so much safety. Seven airbags, one, two, three, four, five, six, siete. Seven? That is safe. BMW only has three, it's pathetic. Dance break! Class exclusive 4 inch multifunctional LCD display. Standard A power shift 6 speed automatic transmission. 7 air bags, etc. Do you know what we call that kind of engineering? Pimping and sexy? Yes. Ford Fiesta. That's all nice to know. Is there any place you need me to take you? No? Okay. Oh my god. Ford Fiesta. Logo. So we already showed you how to do the anime style speed run, and now I'm going to cover how to do the rest of this ridiculous pile of nonsensical craziness. Make sure you stretch before a good workout. What just happened? Anyway, back on track. Let's do this part.
So for the flying, I did everything pretty much the exact same as the running, except I had him standing straight up, acting like he was flying straight up. Then in After Effects, I turned him to make it look like he was flying from left to right. Or right to left. I write with my right hand, right to left. And then we have Bruno looking all lonely, like he just needs a friendly friend. Now with Bruno, we once again did a lot of the same. Keyed him in, color corrected him to match the background better, which was the same city we used as brushwood, except now it's just stationary. <laughs> oh, what? So now we get to the point where Schwood's hair harpoons Bruno's chesticles. And through the magic of green screenery, this is insanely easy. Now when shooting, I had Bruno act as though Brushwood slammed into him. Then in After Effects, I go to the position where he reacts and set a keyframe for the position. Then I move five frames forward and set another keyframe by pulling his layer out. Now I grab the layer of Brian flying and then set position points to have him move in, hit Bruno, and then move out with Bruno. After that, all that was left to do was add some blood assets and then turn on the motion blur. So there you go, that was all compositing. A bunch of different assets, which at one point were all separate, but then through a digital process became one single image. So give compositing a try and I guarantee you'll get addicted. Drugs are like that. Would you like to spend Labor Day in jail? Better question, would you like to be responsible for putting someone in the hospital or even worse? Hopefully your answer is no. So don't be a big pile of human fecal matter by drinking and driving. The message is simple, over the limit, under arrest. So don't be a piece of Tupperware that somebody's been farting into and then putting the lid back on because it's disgusting. Law enforcement will be out in full force all across the country from August 25th through September 6th cracking down on all you douchebags, I mean drunk drivers. Beyond putting your and other people's lives at risk, you could be costing yourself a bunch of time and money through jail time, loss of driver's license, hiked up insurance rates, and a ton of other sucky things. But here's the funny part about drinking and driving. It can easily be avoided by you not being a moron and doing it. You could still go out and have a blasty, but please get a designated driver, use mass transit, or call yourself a taxi. You can even go my route and just stick with water. It's very refreshing, and it doesn't come with the next day wish I did it. Guess what this is? The end. But if you want to send a digital hello my way or stay up to date with the film Riot Haps, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. You can also join our Facebook page for some more communitalia uh, some I'm not fun. I might have made up that word. And I'll see you next Thursday when I launch myself into a sculpture of myself made from jello. Both delicious and sexy. <laughs> with contempt. All right, a little. <laughs> When I, when I stab you, it's like, I think I'm guaranteed. Oh, it's weird. Oh, my God. Ah! Sorry.